Welcome to Tuna Pika Tidbits. I'm Gaturi. In today's episode, I'm going to tell you why, in addition to this measuring cups, you need a weighing skill in your kitchen. So if you're particularly excited about baking and you like baking at home, in addition to you owning measuring cups, you do need to get go the extra mile and get a weighing skill. And I'm going to explain why. When it comes to weighing ingredients, there's a certain way some ingredients are supposed to be weighed. For example, when it comes to measuring flour, how do you normally measure out your flour? Let me guess, is this how you do it? You put your measuring cup inside your packet of unga and then you scoop it out. I'm sure. Is this how you do it? Yeah, I can see you nodding. So you scoop it out like this, right? So you see, that's one cup of flour, right? So let's weigh this out and see how much this is. So this is my weighing scale. I'm not so sure that you guys can see, but you'll have to take my word for it. I won't lie. Let's see. So I tear to remove the weight of the bowl. So that's come to 153 grams. So based on this experiment, it's safe to say one cup of flour is about 153 grams, right? Well, not so right. Because, believe you me, there's a right way to measure flour, especially if you're using it for baking. And this is why I am more towards weighing, because when you weigh, if it says 220, it will give you 220. Because, let me show you, when you're, the correct way <laughs> to measure out flour with a cup is, Put your flour in a bowl, fluff it, then use a spoon to fill up your cup. Fill it like that. Then you can use, let me, let me use the back of a spoon, assuming you guys don't have an offset spatula, use that to level. This is how you're supposed to measure flour. So let's see how much this weighs. So I put it back. This is 123. So ideally, essentially, when you Google like what's the equivalent of one cup of flour to grams, it gives you about 120 grams. This cup of mine gives me on a good day 127 grams, some days 123. So it's usually between 120 and 130 grams per cup when I use this and when I use that method. Have you seen the difference? When I did this method, it gave me 123. When I did the scooping method, it gave me 153. That's a whole 30 grams difference. And when you're baking, proportions really matter. So if the flour is too much, the cake might end up being too dense. So you may be wondering, I'm using the exact same recipe as you, but how comes my results are not the same? Because probably you could be measuring the flour like that, scooping like this, or you might be using a rogue cup like this. This one was for a thermos. This is not a calibrated measuring cup for baking. So, and with that, that's why you need a weighing skill. The, you can get this locally from the supermarket, from baking supply shops. Baking supply shops sell this for under a thousand more. So if you can, do get a measuring scale. If you can't, you can stick to the measuring cups, but try to measure out the second method I've shown you and stay clear of thermos cups. These ones are not calibrated for baking, but any kind of measuring cup will do. And from Megatory, Kwahiri.